ever since the Tudor Black Bay 58 and the Black Bay GMT came out six years ago, we had been begging for the two to be married in the 58 39 mm case. And finally this year, Tudor has delivered. Is this what we wanted? I feel like uh, the excitement is also a bit uh, tempered uh, by the uh, aficionados of the brand. So I got my hands finally on one of these. This is my watch. Let's uh, discuss it, explore a little bit. Attic watch reviews, 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 attic 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 watch reviews. Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Tudor Black Bay 58 GMT with that uh, beautiful bezel. Uh, always great colors with Tudor. Of course, they still use aluminum, so they don't have the limitations that uh, Rolex may have uh, with some of the uh, color combos. Here we have a uh, very vintage looking uh, black uh, meeting a sort of burgundy, one of the trademarks color of uh, Tudor. And uh, yes, 39 millimeters by only, if you count the crystal uh, just above 12 millimeters. I see on my calipers 12 and a half. And if you discount it, uh, it's under 12 millimeters. So really a fantastic, perfect uh, measurement. And the uh, lug to lug, as I see it, is uh, 40, 48, uh, 48. And uh, immediately you will have noticed uh, we have it with this uh, rubber uh, strap with that uh, end link. You might wonder why I didn't pick it up on the bracelet. Uh, well, the bracelet uh, was not available at the shop. They had this one and I immediately realized that uh, this is actually exactly what I wanted because uh, every time I, want, uh, I go on holiday, I want to choose one perfect watch and I always wanted to take uh, one of my Tudor GMTs and I thought it's going to be too heavy and they don't look that great on straps and so I never took them and uh, if I had the bracelet maybe uh, it would feel um, not quite right uh, again I think a strap is great on holiday it's more comfortable also I had a bit of an adjustment problem with the, the bracelet even with the T-Fit when I bought the Black Bay 54 I was uh, if, if I had uh, one extra link uh, it was uh, uh, too, lo uh, too loose and if I, if I was remo removing one, I was on the other side of the T-fit and it would be too tight and I had to get a, a half link in. Here, luckily, we removed two little, uh, two little bits. You see those, uh, it's about, uh, about one link. Uh, they were th the, the strap comes with three of these. And we remove two of them and uh, I have a nice comfortable tight fit here and then I have all this travel left in case I need it I could even wear it uh, on top of a uh, of a uh, wetsuit for example uh, but I, I'm sure in the summer I will want to have a little bit of relief so I get the perfect fit and you have of course that uh, very nice new clasp that they have to include the T-fit I'll show you the back of the watch uh, this is it not much to, uh, to talk about but the back of the strap is nice you have uh, the Tudor uh, motif there and it feels it feels good it's supple it's comfortable immediately on the on the wrist so there you go you have the uh, rose crown and the shield here now why were people not totally excited when this came out well again it comes down to the the colors well i think the bezel is a great surprise people were expecting the the coke to come in the rolex uh, lineup of gmt's um, and uh, it's tudor that, that came up uh, with it but unfortunately or i don't know maybe they tried different things uh, they decided to go with uh, the black bay 58 original style so you have the um, the gilt uh, coloring for everything pretty much and you have that sort of uh, matte faded uh, black dial and a little bit of 14 not too much it doesn't bother bother me uh, actually I think everything marries really really well 
but uh, a lot of people are a bit put off maybe by the look because they've been seeing it for, for six years. Adding to that a number of releases, there was the Black Bay Pro, which uh, seemed like a great idea at first and then it was too thick. And then this comes out and maybe people just want to take a step back before jumping into it, uh, maybe thinking, well, where might they go with this uh, to make it even more perfect, new colors, new dial, uh, maybe we should not uh, rush. And that's what I was thinking at the shop, maybe just have a look and don't rush. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I wanted it. And uh, to come back to the holiday story, this is going to be a perfect watch for the holiday. It's uh, it's a diver, 200 meter uh, diver, uh, two or three, 200 meter the diver, I believe, uh, on a comfortable strap with some adjustment, great loom. And you have the date, which, by the way, has a nice little uh, step in the window now. That's a bit too much zoom. And... Um, yeah, if you have the Rolex GMT, because they are so difficult to get, so valuable on the second hand, uh, secondary market, you don't really dare uh, putting scratches into them, and they are also uh, magnets for, for thieves. Uh, so really, this is the ultimate uh, GMT, if you want, uh, that you can take to, to travel, and it is really light, and yeah, the format uh, it is perfect. Uh, just uh, my wrist is 17 centimeters, you can see, on my wrist and by the way if your wrist is, is smaller than uh, 16 centimeters I'd be a bit careful because I only have one more of those uh, rubber links to remove and then you are at the limit of uh, the adjustment uh, on the tighter uh, direction so I don't know maybe they have another strap that's a bit smaller than this for the really small wrist but then again if you have a really small wrist maybe the black bay 58 would be too big for you maybe the black bay 54 would be better although the 54 has the same wingspan uh, actually um, so do consider that uh, but maybe the, the the bracelet will be a better option in that case for a very small wrist or i think there's another uh, strap as well uh, but yeah, if you have a wrist at least 16 centimeter and, uh, and up, I think that this, uh, th this is great. I'm really happy. And also having this uh, black strap so, sort of br gives a different vibe to the watch than having the full bracelet uh, uh, with it. Well, look at the bevel. This is something you've lost on uh, many Rolex now. Uh, beautiful bevel, just like Rolex used to do them, uh, like we uh, like them. And yeah the colors are fantastic and people are reminded of the uh, original uh, bakelite um, colors uh, of the the bezel so these are my first in, in impression uh, impressions in the end I, I wanted to have it because after all we've been waiting so long for it and i was uh, every time uh, walking by the Tudor shops, uh, taking a look at the windows. And here, it was not in the window, it was uh, at the back, they had just gotten it. And uh, I'm actually quite happy. And of course, now this is a master chronometer. So accuracy between zero plus five, uh, guaranteed resistance to uh, heat, shock, uh, magnetic fields, again, great to travel in the airports. You're not gonna have to worry about it. And you have that uh, super, nice uh, gmt function you know gmt function is it really that uh, important well i've said it to a uh, time in europe where my family resides and i know that uh, it's about almost eight o'clock i can uh, call my mom and ask her for the recipe for her famous uh, mac and cheese so maybe uh, yes it, it is quite cool and of course the, the bezel rotates in both directions great feel on the on the bezel and it's a great everyday watch, so the crown isn't too big, not too small, no issue to uh, to use it. But if you wear it every day, why uh, would you need um, a more comfortable crown? And if you want to see what the watch looks like uh, with the bezel <laughs> in the other direction, there you go. Nobody ever thinks of those things, but uh, I do. And uh, kind of changes the vibe, right? <laughs> you can wear, have a bit of a different vibe every day or put the triangle here. Here I can get, uh, I think, uh, LA time or New York time, I'm not quite sure. Um, <coughs> a completely d different vibe. Uh, one complaint that people have is that the GMT hand uh, is color coded, uh, doesn't have a different color. And uh, actually you can see it disappearing here in, uh, 
in when it doesn't catch the the light uh, but yes, the snowflake uh, motif, um, and it's pushed all the way to the bezel, which I think is a great, a great thing. So it's very easy to to read. Uh, might be a bit confusing at night. Uh, not quite, not too much. Uh, I think overall, um, it it it's okay. It's not like you need to watch to look at the GMT time all the time. So it's not really that important. Uh, I think they wanted to keep uh, one color for everything, and you know, in a way. Uh, I can respect that and it will be exciting to see new colors, uh, maybe uh, greens and, um, and and whatnot. Uh, I can show you a bit uh, the uh, Tudor Loom, always very good. But yeah, very impressive now that they have their movement manufacturer next to uh, to their main building. Uh, it's called Kennedy and they can uh, get the master chronometer <coughs> certification that was initiated by uh, by Omega, it's very impressive. And uh, look, my first impression after just a couple of hours on the wrist is that it's really comfortable, really what I wanted for a travel a GMT watch. I'm definitely gonna take that on my next um, next uh, adventures in uh, on, on the beach side in Thailand or in Vietnam. And uh, overall, yeah, fantastic uh, GMT uh, watch, I think. But let me know what you think in the in the comments. Um, I think I've addressed a bit the all the <laughs> the reservations that uh, people have expressed uh, when this came out. But uh, I think Tudor has really delivered uh, on this one with a master chronometer GMT in the Black Bay 58 case, great dimensions. It is. Uh, Wow, <laughs> it is very cool. Uh, maybe not uh, striking. I think people wanted to be wowed, and after all the black bays we've seen, people are not wowed by it uh, any uh, anymore. It has lost a bit of the excitement, and um, that's why maybe a different uh, colorway and uh, doing away with the guild fonts, uh, guild colors uh, will uh, will will bring that pop that people maybe. Uh, want to see in the, the perfect Tudor GMT. Thank you for watching guys. Bye bye.